So here we are in the middle of the city and we're growing algae. Something that you typically wouldn't want to do normally in a pond or in a swimming pool or in many rivers in many instances. We're doing in a controlled environment for a specific purpose. And that purpose in our instance is we're actually attempting to grow a very specific species, Arthrospira platensis, or called spirulina, or spirulina, by many places of the world. And this particular algae grows in Chad, in north central Africa. And it's actually harvested by the local peoples and it's pressed into something of a, of a green goo or a green paste and the locals there use it as food to eat. It's incredibly rich in protein. It's up to 70% protein in some instances. It's a totally vegan protein. It doesn't come from animals. It's somewhat carbon neutral because it's a plant and it just comes from photosynthetic processes that fuel it. And under the right pH and temperature and light conditions and such, you can actually cultivate it at home. And there are lots of people who have begun trying. And I'm very proud to say that I've begun trying myself. And you can see here, I'll show you in the, uh, in the view, it's not very difficult. It's simply a bottle or two. This culture here is my original culture. It's about a one liter bottle. It came in the mail from California. We live in the Midwest, so it's not that far. And then here I've used a Simply Orange uh, 1.75 liter bottle. I've just converted it. It's very simple to poke a hole into the tops of these lids here. What I do is I just use a, uh, a hot needle and I poke a hole through the top. Or you can just use a, a knife and kind of drill through it or what have you. Uh, for the entire view, you can see I kind of have a small setup here. I have my lights, uh, which I use at night, obviously. It's nighttime now, if you can't tell. And then it shines onto this. I have several thermometers monitoring temperature. And uh, yeah, as long as you use a medium that's uh, higher end on the pH scale, preferably calcium bicarbonate is a very good one to use. Uh, and a chelated form of iron, which just means that you need iron sulfate in a green tea or a lemon juice or vinegar or some kind of more acidic uh, form. Uh, and yeah, you can grow it. It's not that hard. And uh, it's really beginning to be uh, part of a movement, algae culture. So join the algae cultural revolution. Like this video and share it if you're interested. I got my algae my author is Spiroplatensis from Algae Lab, Dr. Aaron Wolf Brom. Shout out, he's a NASA scientist working for the Omega Project. You can order it from him. Uh, yeah, growing spirulina. Next step is we try to grow it, harvest it, and sell it. So, wish me luck. Stay tuned.